Tornado alert! Prepare for extreme weather. The tornado is destroying everything in its path. A tornado is demolishing our base. The tornado is finally gone. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities.
Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. slowing down. The air is getting dense. A fog is forming up. Storage facilities. It's hard to see anything in this fog.
sodium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. The fog is clearing up. This will make things easier for us. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Jump successful. Environmental scanning in progress. The natural background radiation in this area is very high. It would kill most living organisms from Earth.
My standard radiation shielding can withstand these levels of exposure without any damage. However, if the background radiation is so high in this area, then we can expect much more intense sources of gamma particles. These could pose a serious threat. The protective atmosphere is also very thin in this area. UV radiation from the sun could pose a real threat. No wonder this area looks like a desert. We'll have to improve environmental shielding on our structures before setting up a larger outpost in this area. Ashley, we should gather more data about this area. We can later use the readings from my sensors to develop improved radiation and UV shielding for both my armor and our structures. Okay, let's try to scout as much area as possible to feed your sensors with enough data. The sun is very intense today and is still intensifying. There's no atmospheric shielding in this desert. It's going to start dealing serious damage soon. The sun is burning us and our structures. It's dangerous, but this activity should not last very long. are indicating large quantities of tanzanite within the cacti specimen. We can use tanzanite as a catalyst for production of high-energy weaponry and equipment. It would be great if we could gather large quantities of this mineral to create something useful. A broader arsenal of weaponry could undoubtedly help us survive against all these new hostile species. Let's start researching tanzanite handling. These green crystals are emitting a lot of gamma radiation. Try not to stand too close to them, or they will damage my armor. Thank <laughs> you. 
detecting a new species of creatures that have very unusual movement characteristics. That sounds very interesting. The creatures in this biome are unlike anything that we've seen before. Let's go to its suggested location and try to learn more about it. Look at this creature. It has a very dense and thick carapace, yet it moves very swiftly over sand. We should study this species further. I can sense a few of these creatures in this area, but this won't be enough to gather samples for research. Let's pass this creature's characteristics to the orbital scanner and look for a location where we can find more of them. Affirmative, Ashley. We should have some results available shortly. Orbital scanning completed. We found a location that looks like a breeding ground for the Stregoro species. We can go there to study it further. I'm sensing slight tremors. They are intensifying over time. It looks like an earthquake is coming. It's an earthquake! It's going to seriously damage all buildings near its epicenter.
The earthquake is over. The tremors are getting weaker and weaker. We should quickly repair whatever's been damaged. I'm tracking a meteor shower on a collision course with us. Evasive maneuvers, Mr. Riggs. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction.
Environmental scanning completed. We've gathered enough data to start developing advanced UV shielding and radiation shielding in the alien laboratory. Mr. Riggs, I think that we can use the natural background radiation data that we've just gathered to filter out the naturally occurring radiation within the Desert Dome. We can use the orbital scanner to search for even higher condensations of radiation to pinpoint a possible location for extracting nuclear fuel necessary to finish constructing the rift station. Affirmative, Ashley. We should have some results available shortly. Orbital scanning completed. Ashley, we've detected a new area within the desert biome that can potentially contain higher condensations of radioactive elements. I have marked its location on the orbital scanner interface. Excellent. We should go there as soon as possible. It would also be good to have the radiation shielding research finished before going on that mission. There's an intense aurora in the sky. Prepare for an ion storm. It's going to disable a lot of equipment. The ion storm has started. All sensors are down. A lot of our equipment has been disabled. We have to wait until the storm passes. The number of charged particles has drastically decreased. Equipment functioning is returning back to normal. It's good to be back at HQ. I feel much safer here. Ashley, remember that we can travel between planetary locations using the orbital scanner interface whenever you are ready. You can also check our list of objectives on that screen. Okay, Mr. Riggs, let's check to see if our base is still intact. Then we can go back to exploring other biomes.
Many of the more advanced buildings require a lot of cobalt to be built or upgraded. There's not enough of this resource in this area to cover our needs. Mr. Riggs, can you calibrate- Research completed. the planetary scanner to search for more cobalt? Affirmative, Ashley. I'm starting the scanning procedure right now. Orbital scanning completed. We have found a new planetary location that is rich in cobalt deposits and would be perfect for establishing a new cobalt mining outpost. Excellent. It's even located within the tropical zone, so it should be more hospitable than the other areas of the planet that we visited. Let's go there as soon as possible. Our swarm is moving in on our base. They are almost upon us.
Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Deposit depleted. One of our walls has been destroyed. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Humidity is rising. It's going to rain in a moment. It's raining. It will decrease the output from solar panels until it stops. Looks like some of these creatures' attacks are originating from a common point near our base. Interesting. We should go and investigate that area.
Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. The rain is over. Base operations returning back to normal. Storage is full. This looks like a nest of some sort. We should clear it out and reduce the strength of hostile attacks. There is a lot of them inside. This might be difficult. chances of survival. Every bit helps. Has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. 